we this love hip hop. Let's see what I'm about to look at. And we'll delve into the life of Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez right now is looking at another probably six years because he was sentenced to 10 years. You do two thirds of the 10. So that's about seven years, six and change. If you count the amount of time that he's already been away, Tory probably be home in the next five years. If you, if you really want to be honest about it. Currently serving a 10 year prison. Tory Lanez's rapid decline has been dramatic. The singer is currently serving a 10 year prison See, sentence for shooting Megan Thee Stallion. In 2023, he was convicted of first degree assault with a firearm, discharge of a firearm with gross negligence, and having a concealed firearm in a vehicle. Lanez will not be eligible for parole until September 2029. However, when his parole hearing comes up, Lanez will be a single man, as his wife of less than a year, Raina Shasanya. Wow. That Talk about some super AI. They called, a, called him Lena's. As his wife of less than a year, Raina Shasanya has officially filed for divorce. TMZ reports that Shasanya filed for divorce in the first week of June, citing irreconcilable differences and seeking sole custody of their son Kai. Lena's and Shasanya were married on June 25, 2023, but their union didn't last even a year. June 25, 2023? Is that what they're saying? Mmm. Three, but their union didn't last even a year. The timing of their wedding raised suspicions, with insiders speculating about ulterior motives. In September, legal journalist Megan Cuniff observed that Lena's engagement and subsequent marriage to Shasanya happened swiftly around. They're so AI, and they're just, they're so just not even given an F that they didn't even spell check the damn thing. Look how they spelled this. In September, legal journalist Megan Cuniff observed that Lena's engagement. Lena's. That's Lena right there. <laughs> okay, this is how much they don't give a shit about um, doing any corrections or whatever. Not even having a real, a real human do the news story. But hey, I'm reviewing it. Eh? So engagement I guess and I'm subsequent part of the marriage to Shasanya happened swiftly around the same time as his bail motion. Despite being found guilty, Lena's who pleaded not guilty before his trial has continued to maintain his innocence and has refused to apologize to Megan for the 2020 shooting. Regardless of how they try to spin my words, I have always maintained my innocence and I always will. Lena's previously wrote in a statement, Met moments right, that I that. shared with the parties involved, that's it. Was I apologizing for the charges? I apologized for something that I used discretion. No such ask. It does not request spousal support, opting instead to leave it for future determination at the court's discretion. No. Mm. Okay. I need to look up this girl here. Such assets or debts were listed for the former couple regarding separate property nor quasi community property. I hope you liked the video. Don't forget. I really didn't. That video was trash. Um, but we got the information that we were looking for. That was the point. Let's find a nice thummy for this lady right here. Bong. Okay, so that's the woman in question. Let's see what Tory Lane's wife's name is. So I'm going to pull up another article here from People Magazine. Actually, Raina. Let's do this so y'all can see what I'm looking at here. Bong, bong, bong. Okay, so I got an article here from People Magazine. And then we're going to look her up. Tory Lanez and his wife, Raina Chasings, are going on their separate ways. We went through all of that. Um, let me see if there's any more information. She is from Florida. That's what I wanted to know. So he made sure to, mar to marry an American thing. And you know how that works, right? Because Tory was facing deportation at the same time when it, or is for is going to be facing deportation after his whole case is done. Okay. So once he's done finishing, unless he gets an appeal, once he's finished the next six years or whatever he's going to be in prison for, they're going to take him, say, you got to go, bro. No more United States for you. No more America for you. So let me find a nice picture of her. So when it comes to this, it was really, really important for him to stay married to this woman. Eesh. What does this mean for Tori now? Damn. 
And even so, to be honest, was this really going to help his case when it comes to the deportation aspects of the of his sentence? Like he did get married to her while he was in prison. So I don't know how much this really affects what immigration thinks. You know what I mean? It's, they might be like, so we saw that play a mall. We've seen that one before. Come on now. That's that whole citizenship marriage. We, we know about that one. But, but they do have a kid together. Okay. So that makes a big difference when it comes to him being able to stay in the country. With him having the kid with her and being married, that could have been hook, line, and sinker. Somebody's asking here, knowledge manifested, wants to know, he don't have dual citizenship? I don't think so. To be honest, if he did have dual citizenship, I don't think that the judge would be able to rule to get him deported. But I'm not really up on American, the American immigration system like that. Maybe somebody in the chat might be a little bit more informed than me. There is a link at the top of the chat for anybody who wants to join the conversation. What I'm wondering right now is what happened? What happened there? Was there what happened where they could get married pretty much a year ago to today, almost a year ago to today? And within that time, now all of a sudden it's like it's over? Like, goddamn. Jeez. What was said? There's not much he can do from inside unless it's one of those situations. And you know, let me know if y'all can relate. Maybe she went to go see, go check him for a visit. She went to go, you know, see the books when she's going to sign her name for the visit. I don't know how many visits he's supposed to get per week. I know over here in Canada, when guys are still over here in the provincial jails, they get I th what, two visits a week, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe three. She goes to sign her name on the paper. She sees Amber, Shaniqua. What? Wait a minute. I thought I had. So wait a minute. You already had two visits already for the week. What you need me here for? Could have been one of those types of moves. I've seen those in the past. Niggas come back to the ring stressed. Damn. My girl caught me, dog. She saw that I had my other baby mamas on the list, too. You never know. But it's just strange that just they get married last year, June 25th. And here we are, June 12th, 2024. And it's a wrap. It's a riggedy. It's a pita. Jeez. What Tory did? Unless it's Tory who said, you know what, I want a divorce. Maybe that's the case. We don't have enough information when it comes to this. We just see the split. Let me see if there's any other YouTubers who've done some more deep diving. Tory Lane's divorce. I know there's some, some real super sleuths. Really know why going. Billboards covered it. At covered it. Um, what's this one? This is the one I just watched not too long ago, I think. Let's see what this Tory Lanez's wife, Raina, has filed for divorce from the rapper after less than one year of marriage. TMZ came out with this exclusive article today. They report that Raina cited irreconcilable differences as the reason for divorce. She filed last week. Irreconcil irreconcilable differences. Tori and Reyna quietly got married on June 25th of 2023, so the divorce filing comes just less than a year after that. Reyna is also asking for legal and physical custody of their seven-year-old son, Kai, which... She seems like that. The same amount of information as everybody else. She wants custody. Well, duh. 
I don't think Tori can have custody for the next six years. So, yes, you can have custody of the kid. Which makes sense as Tori Lanes is currently serving prison time. But Reyna has taken their son to visit him while Tori has been inside. Tori is currently serving a 10-year sentence for blanking Megan the Stallion, which he still denies doing. Honestly, I actually didn't know that he got married, but I believe they got married while he was in jail. Which makes sense because, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe if you are married, you get a special type of visit from your loved one. Oh, yes. That is true. The conjugal visits. Oh, Tori. Tori. That hurts. Oh, man. Hold on. Let's go back to this picture over here. Tori, that's what you did, fam. You lost Tori out Lena's on the rapid decline has been dramatic. You lost out on the conjugal visits too. I forgot about that. It's gonna be a rough six years. However, and listen, this is American and Canadian systems that might be different. I know when it comes to the conjugal visit stuff, you gotta go through some programs. You got to wait a while before you're able to just have a conjugal visit or what they have over here. They call them um, PFVs, private family visits. So, yes, he might have had that, but not he might have not been cleared or or um, what's the word? Um, Whatever, cleared. Let's use cleared for now because I can't find words today. But he might have not been able to get cleared for that until, let's say, a year from now. You know, maybe after he does a few programs, passes those programs and shows that he's, you know, he's not a he's not a woman beater. Because in the end of the day, he is in jail for an assault on a woman. OK, it's not like <coughs> he's, in, he's in jail for a couple of bricks or something, which doesn't it's not right neither. But he's literally in jail for shooting a woman. So he has to go through a lot of psychological testing all those different types of things before he's able to pass and get accepted. See, the words are coming back to me now. You get accepted to be even able to have a conjugal visit. All right. What is Johan saying here? Johan Vivi says, there's nothing to hold someone down in jail if they get money to handle themselves. Their family and the outside is the only thing is missing. Facts. Because it's not like Tori don't got money. Actually, let's stop doing that. Let me not do that. Let me not do that. Because uh, I hate when people say, oh, he got money. He be all right. He rich. How do we know this? How do we know how much money a lot of these people really, really, really have? We could be thinking in our mind, yo, Tori's up like 50 M's. He'll be fine. And don't get me wrong. He's still making money from his royalties he had a lot of control over his own catalog before his um before him going away which a lot of people are saying might have been part of the problem however he spent a lot of money in legal fees i would imagine he probably spent upwards of probably 10 million in legal fees And if I'm highballing that like crazy, pause. Let me know. Eesh. Diamond Club says, yo, think she's not coming for the dollars. Maybe. However, there, because it's such an early annulment, or I guess it's a divorce, so it's not an annulment. Maybe she might be trying to get something. Trying to come for half. I got your baby. I'm going to need a check. Mm. Especially if Tori didn't sign a prenup. Jeez. Tori's down bad. Holy. He's not going to get no um, private family visits or conjugal visits. Shorty's going to try to hold the kid back from him. Now he's going to start getting less visits from his son. 
I don't want to get pessimistic in the beginning of the stream, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> DJ Zara in the building. <laughs> AKA Boral Sounds TV. I wasn't going to say it, but I'll read what you said. She's not even sweet like that. Shaking my head. <laughs> Holy. Got him. Yo, Zara, pull up, man. <laughs> That's crazy. I was thinking it, too. I was like, I feel like I never seen this shorty until now. I seen all these other chicks that are supposed to be connected to Tory Lanez. And then all of a sudden, boom. This is the one that he marries. I think I think people might have seen the writing on the wall for a minute, Tori. Like, yo, Tori, you, you, you're trying a thing. True say she is from Florida. So, like I said before, that really helps with the emigration. But he's really trying a thing. Zara said he's driving. <laughs> it's going crazy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna find a pick of her. Hold on. You guys, <laughs> yo, Zara has no chill. That is mod. Let's do, let's do some searching, searching and searching. Okay, let's let's, let's do some some quick search. Slick little thing. I'm finding some more pics. Hold on, I'll let y'all see what I'm looking at. <laughs> this nigga is an asshole holy shit okay here's one bang hold on there's a bigger one a better one okay y'all can see that on the screen right there Young buddy said there's a better photo on Twitter <laughs> yeah. you've already done your investigations <laughs> You guys are cold. Now I have to see. Oh, man. Comment gang strong. Now I got to go. I, I got to go check on Twitter first. You got to do Twitter investigations first before you just raw dog Twitter like that. Pause. Got to be careful, right? Okay, I got it. Got it. Okay, one second, gang. Let me switch screens. Let's go over to, to Elon's platform and see what, what Elon and them are saying. Pow. Okay, here we go. She's all right. She got the whatchamacallit? What are you, the flip-flops going on here on the outside? I never understood how girls are wearing these. It looks like house slippers outside. The feet must be dirty as a mofo. But it literally looks like the type of slippers that you wear, like you could actually wear those in bed. Is that it? That's the only pick that they got? She tries to stay off of being photographed as much as possible. Eh? Holy. Even this one, she's like, don't photograph me. Shit. Get that camera off of me. Is this her here? Nah, it's some rando. That's it, gang. That's all we got. We got this one right here. It is way better pick, though. Thank you. So yeah, this is this this is what Tori's working with right right now. I guess. Jeez, Christ, Tori. I don't know what to tell to tell you, fam. This is this is I'm at a loss for advice for you right now. It's, you're, people are like, he's down bad. And I don't want to be like, I agree. But you're down bad right now, bro. Like you you try the thing. 
You're like, okay, I'm going to go back, circle back to day one, make it right with the baby moms. But maybe she's seen the play a mile away, too. She's like, nigga, come on. Come on. And I'm not trying to get you in trouble, bro, in case any of y'all see this. But she might have been like, come on. Now you want to get married. Now Now you want to get married. Now that you're behind bars, I had to see you do quarantine radio. 10,000 BBLs coming in and out of the condo, and now you want to get married? Sure, bud. Let's get married. Let's do it tomorrow. Let, let's do it right now. And in the back of my mind, she's like, I'm going to get this nigga for everything he got. Right? He might have been playing one chess move, and she's playing three other chess moves ahead. Like, yeah, let's get married. Let's do it. I love you, Tori. Just like this nigga right here trying to get back, trying to get back with me. Like as if I don't see this shit. <clears throat> this nigga was with Selena Powell. Not maybe about two years ago or something like that. This is why her she her and I guess his new girlfriend at the time ended up getting into an altercation in, in the uh lobby of his of his condo. Y'all remember that? Mm. Twitter made like yeah, 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 yeah. I'm I'm just going through some of the comments over here. Carmen Gang's strong. But listen, man, I won't stay on this too long. Salute to you, Tory Lanes. Okay, hold your head, bro. Tory's one of the guys that we need out here. Tory's and I, we've said this multiple times on the podcast. He's the most collaborative Toronto artist out here, or who used to be out here. Okay, the other guys, the weekend, Drizzy, y'all do your thing, but y'all don't have as much of a catalog of collaborations as Tory Lanez does. All right, like I, he recently just did an in, uh, a, a verse with the guy called The Verse over there in Montreal. All right, he obviously did it before he went to jail, but man gave him a um, did a collabo. With a Montreal nigga, he has collabos with niggas from the Punjabi community. He has the press a collabo uh, for Canada Goose. Tory has multiple collaborations, like names that I don't even remember. He has at least two dozen to three dozen collaborations with Canadian artists. For the level of artist that he is, he went through the trenches and collaborated with everybody. All right, Young Money saying Houdini collaboration. Right? Like Tory Tory looks out. So we need somebody like Tory on the outside. Okay. Salute to Tory Lanes. We love hip hop.